this week's gum lesson we're going to take a look at numbers and how we use numbers when we're writing about them so sit on back and prepare to have some fun so before we get started we want to talk a little bit about the different style manuals that are used that's right when it comes to writing for certain fields and certain careers there are manuals that we use uh, the first few that you're going to see here are manuals that are the manuals of style that are kind of the big ones. So if you ever hear anybody talk about the MLA or APA format, that's kind of what they're talking about. Um, once you get into college, uh, you'll talk more about Turabian. And again, it depends on what kind of field you go into and whether you decide to do something as a graduate student. Uh, but the other thing to kind of keep in mind is that if you go into any specific field like medicine or into law or journalism, your employer is going to expect you to understand the different manuals of style that need to be used. So um, this makes this next part here really, really tough because each one of these style manuals uh, has its own rule on how to use numbers. So even though they all have different rules there are generally four rules that are kind of the agreed upon rules so here we go the first rule refers to numbers one through nine so anytime you're writing the numbers one through nine what you're gonna do is you're gonna write them out if you're using anything bigger than nine so once you get into the double digits then you can start to use numerals um, this maybe seems like a silly thing and it's not something that we normally think about but again, uh, the reason we say numbers one through nine is because they're pretty short. Uh, if you're writing out a number like 112, it gets a little bit long, it gets a little bit wordy, and so that's why we can shorten them up. Um, there is an exception to the rule, and the exception is that if you're using multiple numbers in a sentence, then you can kind of indulge a little bit. So the example here, it says, I ran nine miles on the first day of my training and 13 on the second day. Now, if we just ended this sentence after training and just said I ran nine miles on the first day of my training, then we would spell nine out. But because we have 13 there, we can write out 13. And then we can also go back and write down nine. So that's the rule on numbers one through nine. All right? If it's anything that's in a single digit, then we don't, uh, we don't write them as numerals, we write them out. Rule number two says if we have number neighbors. So if you were trying to write something like I need 17 two inch zip ties, uh, you could write it out like this. So you have one of the numbers written out, in this case 17, and then we decided to write two in, uh, in shorthand or as a numeral. The thing is that the order doesn't matter. So we can say the same sentence and we can just write it a different way. It's really all about preference when it comes to number neighbors. The next one talks about beginnings. So if you're starting a sentence with a number, you're going to write it out. So whether it's a long number like 1973, or if it's a shorter number like three out of five, you should still write those numbers out. Um, there are some style guides that make exceptions. They say that you can you know, start things out if you want to. Um, but again, that agreed upon rule is that normally we start them out with, uh, with writing the numbers out. The best way to solve the problem though is to kind of reword the whole thing. So switch things around so that the number comes at the end and then you can write them out as numerals. It still says the same thing that you said before, it just doesn't start with numbers. Generally starting a sentence with numbers is something we try to steer clear of anyway. So if you can reword it, reword it. The last rule refers to dialogue and this one is probably the easiest of all. It says if you're writing, an, uh, if you're quoting an article or writing dialogue in fiction, as always, you're gonna spell it out. Uh, so the exception, the big exception to this rule is that in the Chicago Manual of Style, they have kind of a, a vaguely worded rule that says, if it begins to look silly, then go ahead and use numerals. So for example, it would not make a ton of sense to write out, how do we lose 12,641 people overnight? You write it out as a number. So this one is kind of all about you know, what makes the most sense. But again, generally most of these style manuals are gonna say, write it out if you're writing dialogue. So if it's got quotes around it, write out the numbers. All right, so really quick to recap. Numbers one through nine, always write them out. Uh, number neighbors, again, you can write one out, leave the other one as numerals, and you get to choose. So that's kind of nice. 
Anytime you start a sentence, you can write them out or better yet, reword the sentence so that the numbers come at the end. And then the last one that we talked about, rule number four was in dialogue, write everything out. Here's the thing though, when you're in school, this is what we ask you to do. When you get your own career, you're gonna forget everything that you know and you're gonna have to relearn it. Depending on whether you go into the medical field or if you go into a law field, whatever it is, they're gonna tell you how to put things together. So cue the eye roll, that is writing out numbers.